Hey friends, Ash here with Gen Sense. Hope you're doing well. Got a big fragrance haul for you guys today. And one of these, I'm assuming, is yet another new Creed Aventus clone. Now I could be wrong because I didn't actually bother to look this up before doing the video, but it probably is. It's this one right here from All Haramain, Laventure Intense. Mmm, intensity. Oh, oh. I've also got four other fragrances. Those are Azaro Hot Pepper, which reminds me of Teen Titans. If you've seen the Teen Titans episode where they sing about hot peppers, you know what I'm talking about. I would say 99% of you do not know. I've also got Davidoff Cool Water, the coolest edition in a totally rad tester box. Fusion DC Extreme from Isi Miyake. And last but not least, from Azaro once again, Solarissimo Maritimo. And yeah, this is also a stupid tester. So let's jump into it. Let's check out these fragrances and let's see if any of them are worth it. Today's video is brought to you guys by FragranceBuy.ca. I've got a link in the description to their website. Make sure to check them out. Fantastic store for discounted niche and designer fragrances. They're located in Canada, but they ship to the US. They have a loyalty program where you can save up sprays that you can use to save money on future purchases or get free shipping. Just a sick website. So again, shout out to FragranceBuy.ca. Check them out. And you can also find all these fragrances at that website too. Now I've got a little handy dandy book of tester strips. So let me get some out. I'm going to be using these because I don't want to spray five fragrances on myself. You know how it is. Now I'm going to start things off with Davidoff Cool Water, the coolest edition because this is a tester box, so it should be easier to get into. Yeah. And there it is. That is a monstrosity. Goodbye. Look at that. 200 milliliters of the coolest edition ever of Cool Water. Actually, the bottle does look pretty nice. It's got like a slightly metallic reflective finish to it. Really nice blue. I figured why not add another cool water to the collection? They don't cost all that much. And uh, I don't know, that was, that, was, that was pretty much it. Let's add a cool water, they're cheap. Yep, a little bit soapy, really icy, kind of minty fresh. Slightly toothpaste-y, but not in a bad way. I actually surprisingly like this a good amount. It is just mint overload coming off the tester strip, maybe a little touch of some other aromatics, but it's mainly just peppermint in your face. Now the actual full presentation of Cool Water, the coolest edition is like a little, looks like an ice cube, like a big plastic ice cube that it sits inside, but I wouldn't pay extra for it. I imagine this is gonna be pretty simplistic, mainly mint, some aromatics, and then drying down to kind of an, ambroxany musky kind of uh base if i had to guess just based off how it smells but i like it don't mind that a bit let's go next to azaro solarissimo maritimo oh this is depressing oh no <laughs> no no cap oh no get off this is the number one worst thing of all time when you get in the tester and there is no cap because now it just looks stupid. Well, let's just go ahead and do that. There we go. Now it looks good. So on the back here, we've got three notes. It says aquatic citrus woody, lemon calypsone cedar wood. Hey, not bad. Slightly sweet citrus in a, a kind of a synthetic way, but a really, really pleasant opening. Like a little sprinkling of kind of a tropical feeling, <laughs> as if that's an, a note. Well, we're gonna sprinkle it with a tropical feeling. Ever so slightly oceanic with the aquatic note here. Touch of sea salt, but not too much. Citrus kind of swirling all around it. And then you've got this woodiness that kind of wafts through almost like incense wood in some fragrances. Only here, it's like just this, this little whiff of wood that you get. I like that. That's nice. Two for two. Let's just crack into Laventure Intense. You gotta love the absolute attention to detail with the presentation here. They have taken the Laventure presentation exactly as it is and just slapped a little sticker on the front that says Intense. Yeah, like that's, that's just a cheap little sticker that they've thrown on there. And let's take a look at the bottle. 
It is, <laughs> it is the Laventure bottle, only now in black text, it says intense. I'm not gonna lie, it looks like they, they definitely went the cheapest way possible with the presentation. Uh, basically, they slapped a sticker on the front, that's it. So they're repurposing the existing packages and then they're repurposing the existing bottles and just putting intense uh, with a black, just very plain text on the front, but we'll see how it smells. Will this be the new Aventus clone to own? Mm. Yes, it is Aventus. That's 100% what this is. So no big surprise there. I would have been surprised if I sprayed it on and smelled it and it was like Leighton or Royal Oud or something, then I would have been like, mm. What? But no, Aventus. Truthfully, it smells great. So I'm gonna have to spray this one on skin just because I know a lot of people are gonna be kind of interested. So here we go. A couple sprays. Man, one thing that never changes, the Laventure bottle is just an absolute fingerprint magnet. It already looks absolutely terrible, just covered in oily fingerprints. Yeah, that bottle. <sighs> You have to carry a microfiber cloth with you everywhere and just I think it smells a little bit better off the tester strip. Whole bunch of citrus in this. So this is uh, at the moment coming across uh, quite a fruity batch of Aventus. Maybe a little bit of a smoky undertone, but not much. I mean, this is coming across really fruity right now. So pineapple, bergamot, you know, that whole, that whole vibe. It does look pretty oily on my skin. So I would guess that the concentration is pretty high here compared to the original yeah it would appear to be so yeah yeah this is basically lots of that that fruit that citrus especially and i've said this before but that whole pineapple accord in aventus is really utilizing uh, a prominent bergamot note and so when you find bergamot as the the main note in some of these clones it makes perfect sense and also bergamot is a note in aventus anyway this is primarily a sweet, fruity Aventus. It's got good projection here coming off my skin really well. A little bit of woodiness underneath, not so much smoke. Uh, essentially, it is what it says it is. It's Laventure Intense. So take that original Laventure if you want better performance, more projection, longevity with a very similar scent profile. That's what this is. It smells really nice. You know, like you would expect an Aventus style fragrance to smell. Is it going to unseat you know, all the other established big dog clones. No, uh, it's going to do pretty much what Laventure has been doing, just stronger. But I think Laventure is also one of the better clones out there for the price. So not really a surprise. Let's go Fusion DC next. Fusion DC Extreme. Larshies. Fusion DC Extreme. I like the bottle. I like that kind of obsidian looking cap. What's it say? The scent of nature and fusion and new intensity. At the heart of Fusion DC's unique solar amber accord, the intensity of volcanic woods meets the spicy freshness of cardamom and bergamot essences for extreme sensations. My question is, uh, how can you have volcanic woods? The volcano, the lava, it, it destroys the woods. And then there's nothing but a smoldering pile of ash. How can it be a real thing? What is solar amber? I don't know. So I'm not really getting a whole lot of woodiness off the tester strip, more so coconut, kind of a, again, tropical sort of feel here, like a tropical blue fragrance for men in a way. I get the whole solar thing. It's got this clean sort of, sort of uh, brightness to it. This sort of, um, not necessarily sunscreen, but that sort of summery sweetness that you do find in so many fragrances that have a solar note. It's kind of hard to describe unless you've smelled fragrances that have a solar accord. Most often it's something like, hey, it smells like sunscreen. And you go, no, 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 no. That's the solar accord. But it is very, very fresh, very bright. Similar to the original Fusion DC, though I'd say maybe a little bit, a uh, little bit smoother, a little bit more well done. So if you like that one, you'll probably like this one. If you've never smelled either, mm, probably seek out this one. I think it's a little bit better than the original. Hot pepper, gonna wrap us up here. So now with me having hot pepper, 
I think the only one that I don't have from this line is Naughty Leather, which is not a great name. Ginger Lover from this line is solid if you want an inexpensive blue type fragrance. Well, I say inexpensive if you can find it, an inexpensive blue type fragrance centered on ginger and uh, Mint Lover. That one's good. Amber Fever, also good. So we'll see how hot pepper is. Yeah, that's not too bad. It's like this fuzzy cashmere and underneath everything else, actually maybe not even underneath, kind of right along with everything else. You can pick it up right away with this, this definite peppery feel, but it leaves this dustiness on the inside of your nose after you smell it. Like this residual static, this olfactive static that sticks in your nose for a second after you smell the fragrance. It's like spice bomb with the spices toned down and a heaping dose of cashmere in. So not the same, not the same, but in the same ballpark. I don't think this is as good as Ginger Lover. Uh, I think Amber Fever is better than this too, but it's not bad, it's not bad. It's, it's gonna give you, like I said, a similar kind of ballpark feeling to Spice Bomb. Not as interesting as Spice Bomb though. The cashmere in really just starts to swallow up all those spices in here, that pepper. That pink pepper, it's got a little dose of sweetness in there too. So it, it's kind of trying to contrast and balance things out. Not bad at all. Uh, one thing I would say though, is that you don't want to pay too much for this because when these really broke onto the scene, as far as discounters go, they were priced in the mid twenties. I'm talking about this whole line from Azaro. At that price, pretty much all of them were steel, but they've been harder to find here lately. So the price has been starting to creep up. On Fragrance Buy, it's still fine. It's like $28, but I've noticed some people on eBay, for example, asking for close to 50. If you pay that much, you've paid too much. One of those ones you wanna keep it sub $30. Sub $30, you can feel really good about the purchase. You know, you got something that's 100% worth the price. If you start paying close to two times that much, you're not gonna feel so good about it anymore. So there we go, overall a successful haul. Nothing here stood out as being really terrible, thankfully. Tried to keep it to cheaper fragrances and see if I could find any that were maybe kind of a hidden gem. I think that the Solarissimo, this one right here, is a really, really nice kind of classy aquatic fragrance. Really good for spring and summer. Uh, hot pepper, really cashmere and heavy, but uh, similar in a way to Spice Bomb. So for the right price, again, under 30 bucks, that's really solid. Fusion DC Extreme, nice improvement over the original. Kind of an interesting coconutty forward fragrance for men. It works really well, actually, from what I can smell here. And then Lavender Intense. It's just Lavender, but more intense. Which is not a surprise because they didn't even bother to give it a new presentation. They just retconned the old one. I would say though, between Lavender and Lavender Intense, if you were gonna go with just one, you'd probably just get the Intense. Pretty much the exact same scent profile, only better performance. Yeah, I'll take that. So there we go, guys. That's gonna do it for me. Thanks for hanging with me today. Thanks for FragranceBuy.ca for uh, hooking this video up. Check them out in the description and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another fragrance video. Stay safe out there.